Hi guys and welcome back to the Lavender Chair Crochet Tutorials. In this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to crochet these clovers. Okay guys to start I am going to take my ball of worsted weight yarn and a G 4.25 millimeter crochet hook. We're going to make a slip knot leaving a long tail. I'll show you why in the end. Insert your hook, chain four. Insert your hook into the first chain and join with a slip stitch to form a ring. To begin round one and the final round, chain three, treble crochet in the center ring. That's yarn over two times insert hook, draw up loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And then next we're going to double crochet in the center ring, yarn over, insert hook and draw up loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Then we're going to treble crochet again, Can you guys hear that yarn squeaking? That is one of my biggest pet peeves when I crochet. It drives me absolutely nuts. Oh, I've got a little splitting going on here. There we go. Okay, now we're going to chain three. And slip stitch into the center ring to finish off your first loop. I was filming this tutorial earlier and I kept calling them petals and then I realized it's called a four leafed clover because it's not technically a flower. So if I do say petal on accident, it's just because I've been saying it for the last 45 minutes that I've been trying to film this tutorial for you guys. All right, so onto the second leaf. We are going to do one, two, three chains and we're going to repeat treble, double, treble. Again, chain three. Slip stitch into the center ring. And chain three. Again, treble, double, treble. Chain three, slip stitch into the center, Oop. okay, now you can stop here and create the stem or what I'm going to do is I'm going to create one more petal because today I'm going to make a four leaf clover. So I'm going to do that one more time, chain three treble, double, treble, chain three, and slip stitch into the center ring. There we go, four leaves. All right, and now finally to create the stem, we're going to chain five. Double crochet in the second chain from hook. Oh, single crochet, I'm sorry about that. Single crochet. And 
and then slip stitch in the next three chains. Then you're gonna cut it off and leave a long little tail so that we can sew it up. I'll be right back because I forgot my scissors. Where are they? Hey babe. What? Have you seen my scissors? Oh, never mind. Here I am with some scissors. Now we're just gonna cut. And I just pull that right through. So this is what we got. Here's your four leaf clover. Now in the beginning, I told you guys to start off leaving a decent sized tail. And what we're gonna do with this is right here in the center, I tend to get a little bit bigger of a hole than I am wanting to. So I'm just gonna flip this project over and just how you would weave in your magic ring when you weave in your ends after you've done a magic ring, we are going to insert in all of these stitches that were placed in the center chain four ring. I'm just gonna try and go around another time. Sorry if I keep going out of frame. So just a little bit more, I'm gonna go around. Okay. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull this tight, trim it. And there you go, your four leaf clover is closed. And then same thing for this one. We're just gonna weave in that end and then we'll be done. All right, so I've weaved in my ends and this is the finished product for our four leaf clover. I've also finished a three leaf clover to show you guys what that looks like in case you prefer that. You can continue and add additional detailing by putting a lighter green thread and making those little crescents on the leaves. But for now, I really like this. It's cute, simple, and easy to make, and it's a perfect scrap yarn project. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Looking forward to seeing all your shamrocks.